Hi there, my name's Nathan Black. I'm a cellist in the El Paso Symphony Orchestra, and I'm joined by Maestro Retai. Nice to see you, Hello, Maestro. nice to see you, too. We're opening this second concert up with a piece by Eric Wolfgang Korngold. Tell us about it. Uh, the Overture to Juarez. You know, amazing coincidence, right? That we sit on the border and the city right there is Juarez. Um, it caught my uh, <clears throat> attention because it's very Hollywoodish uh, sounding. You know, uh, Korngold was a big movie composer as well. We don't know much about his movie stuff. You know, it's not being played on stage or classical stage as much, but this piece is really, really cool. It's only like six minutes uh, long and it's very, very Hollywoodish sounding. So I think uh, because of the rest of the repertoire that is programmed for the rest of the um, rest of the night, uh, I thought this would be a perfect fit to show off the orchestra with this kind of Hollywoodish sound. Uh, right before we hit the next few pieces on that program, which we should talk about that instrument a little bit because <laughs> it's really weird. Can you guess the only instrument that does not require any physical contact at all? <gasps> Voice. <laughs> oh, you got I'm, me there. Uh, I'm not doing anything with my fingers. And it's still, yeah. <laughs> Voice could be Actually, it. Actually, you, you got no. me. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you <laughs> got me. I was thinking of an instrument called the theremin, an instrument the theremin. you all have probably heard but have never seen before. And it's an instrument that uses uh, electronic waves, and you simply control its output with your hand motions, except it's a lot more difficult than that. Oh, it's extremely <laughs> difficult. I, I was looking at some video, YouTube videos, of, you know, just to learn about it, and it's really cool. I think one hand does the pitch. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if the player goes out with the hand, the pitch goes higher, and if the player moves down, and it's, it's, it's a, it looks like a block of wood with a stick, and I think the, the, um, um, the electric goes between that, right? And the other hand, I think it's volume. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. I mean, it looks really magical, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, that would be the perfect way to say yes, it. Yes, ab absolutely. And it was made famous long time ago uh, by movies like The Day the Earth Stood Still, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound. Which we will play. Yes, absolutely. We'll play a few pieces from that. We're basically going to take the theremin's greatest moments and That's present right. them for the absolutely. concert. And we're wrapping up with one of the great masterpieces from Sergei Rachmaninoff, actually the final piece he wrote, Symphonic Dances, which is kind of an intriguing title because it's a piece that meant a lot to Rachmaninoff and sort of outlined his compositions throughout his life. And it was written in 1940. And it was, guess where? In the United States, right? Even though he's a Russian composer, Russian born composer, he emigrated and then came to the United States. And in 1940, upstate New York, he wrote it. And what was the name that he originally gave it? Uh, was a, I already forgot, but it wasn't called Symphonic Dances at first. And it had movements that he named- Fantastic like, Dances. Fantastic Dances. And one of the names of the movements were Noon. Morning, Noon, and Evening. No, yeah, 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 that's and, what it was. And yeah, rep yeah. represented childhood, Adolescence, adulthood, old age. Yeah. It's a uh, fantastic piece. Yes, absolutely. It's a beautiful piece. Come join us this Friday and Saturday evening, 7.30 p.m. at the Plaza Theater to hear concert number two from the El Paso Symphony Orchestra.